Oh, bro, look at you. You're stage two Pokemon. You take four freaking energies to attack. Okay, you got 45 seconds to convince me you're worth something before I dump you. Four retreat costs, works with buffing pad, 50 more HP, 230 HP total. Okay, so you stick around for two turns. And no energies. Are you gonna one-shot this? Thank you, buff and bad. Two-shot KO, no damage bonus needed. Okay, just gotta pay for the energy costs. Right, we're gonna go hit him, bitch! Knock that out! What? Because of Sullaby, you can use your previous move, Rage Attack, which can do about 200 tiny damage, and you can use the full heal attack, Slack Off, which will heal you. Interesting. We're gonna go ahead and use, just for the heck of it, RAGE! RAGE 230 damage. Uh, uh, you wanna kick Mud Bray. Uh, uh, mm. Oh, that's even worse. Ow. Well, hello in the girls, in the French girls in stone, welcome back to my kitchen. On today's menu, I'll be serving you a slacking deck. Alright, so here's the deck list, here's how it works. This deck is slow, you need somebody else to play or do something for you in the early game. You're gonna use full picks to grab, you know, your slacking cards. You're gonna use Tapu Coco to do bench damage, weaken stuff so slacking does more meaningful damage. Okay, once it's evolving, uh, once it's evolved, you can use double colors energies. You're gonna use counter energies because you will be behind. <laughs> Fortunately, and you're gonna be using lightning energies to charge up. Why lightning energies? You have a way to get them faster with Tapu Koko. Easy way to do it, and also you can use Arceus Prism Star to get three energies in one go. Oh yeah, so how does that work? You, know, you have a, you need a grass right there, lightning, and a water Pokemon. All right, so slacking. Well, the intro already explained what slacking does. So I'm gonna leave it at that. So this is it. Let me show you that slacking can work. Here we go. That's our tails. I don't, this is tails. Yeah! I'll go first. Gold seconds fine too. This deck is built good to wait to go. Pika Rom, let's do it, man. Let's do it. Send this out. This is my Pokemon. Dead on a draw supporter. Well, well. Let's go. I'm gonna play my cover. This is Closer by the Chainsmokers. That's not actually a good... whatever. Amber GG. Oh, do you think a little executes the standard and expanded? It's both. I don't know which one you're talking about, but it's both. One of them is really good for... one of the low like scores is good for expanded? And the other one... most of them are good for standard. Wow, three extra cards? I will take that, buddy. And we can use the... we can use this War of Vigoroth. What the... <laughs> oh my god, what are they eating? Pears? Those look like pears. Okay. Alright, I think I can get value out of this here. Next turn, I do need the Vigoroth, but let's go ahead and set something else on the field right now. Like another Slack Off is fine. But I re I, I I think a Coco is not be not bad either. I rather just thin that right now and pull. Oh, you got your annoying girlfriend here. Here, here she is. Here she is. She's here with me on my desk and with here as my my first turn one pull. Da -da 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 -da. Alolan Vulpix. All right. And luckily Snorlax is nice. It's slow and it's gonna not kill you in your turn one. We could, well, we could have used this, but now we can't do it anymore. But now, it'll activate this and my, my annoying girlfriend's gonna get me some value. Oh, oh not bad! Not bad! Blastoise in this! That's a tough setup as far heck, but... You might do it. Alright, Nespa! Oh, yeah! I mean, she did screw up our... Did she? No. Yeah, she, she did screw up her turn one draw support, but... This will get some pretty good value now. Alright. So, what I really need is a Vigoroth, and I did have a Vigoroth in hand, and I decided to thin it for uh, Coco, which is like, what? That probably wasn't a smart move now, <laughs> no. 
Energy comes up. Is there another energy on hand? Cynthia. Oh, man, please add more cards down so I can make sure that Big Roth is down. Man, pears? Pears? Pears actually pretty healthy. So is cherries, too. What else are you eating? And Ken's slacking actually fight against this? Wow, holy. Mm, holy. You actually playing two of these. You're greedy. You are greedy. You are greedy, sir. But thank you for the good Erica value here. Let's go ahead and thin. Let's start evolving more, more of these here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull some more cards. Man, I could have got a Prism Star Arceus to here. I really could have got a Prism Star Arceus. I really could have got that Prism Star Arceus. Here's the best move I think I should do. I should put the energy here. Retreat like this. And we are going to thin ahead of time. And just pull this down. And instead of going this evolving, which sucks, I'm going to do this here. And that's, that's the deal. Dump truck press. That's going to one-shot my... Yeah, that's gonna one-shot my guys. Unfortunately, unfortunately, he's gonna smoke me. But there's only one Snorlax, so once we take it down, that's gonna be okay. I don't see another Snorlax coming up, or at least it's gonna take some time to get up here. So we wanna get this down as low as possible, which is gonna be tough. So Dump Truck Press is gonna kill me if he gets a DC, but we'll see, we'll see. And he's doing double stage two. Oh, you got lucky. Which one is it? Oh, that's the best one, too! Oh, man! This is gonna totally suck. And then this is dying, so that's not good. That is balls. Bad. Holy man. Okay. Bye, it's the 1G 2 a.m.? Man, alright. It's on the other side of the world. Alright, so hopefully Blastoise... I mean, Blastoise is probably going to hit. And this Norlax is going to go to town on me. It's going to town on me. It's going to town on me. I probably need Banana Master to come out and smack this. Then then, then get this going. So it's going to be a slow start. Or Prison Star Arceus will be very good here. Unluck Unfortunately, I don't have a free retreat guy. I have to get really darn lucky here with this. Let's put a counter energy over here. Yeah, that's not good. Let's go ahead and beacon for Slackoth as well as... I mean, sorry, Vigoroth, Vigoroth, because... Whatever. Yeah, right, he already hit one with his Destoys. That was bad. Where are the lightning energies, man? So I'm going to try to Banana Master this up. And I'll be behind, but... I hope that once I bring this down, I mean, it's three prize cards, so yeah, it should be okay. And we'll see what goes. We'll see how this holds. Should I even bring the Prism Star RC is down? I don't know. And where's, let's see, there's even a little Nine Tails here. What is he gonna do? Is he, I don't think you're gonna, you're not gonna GX here. And your GX wouldn't kill my Slack off either. Only Megaton friends, I mean, Dump Truck Press is going to definitely destroy me. So I really need to land some really nice stuff, man. Like a regular energy and then a counter energy right here. I don't want to put the counter energy here. I really just need to pull uh, normal energy. Because these are valuable. Yep, he's putting it back here. That's probably a safer deal. We're probably going to Cynthia and see if we can pull normal energy up. But the Master has to fight. And luckily he just gets pretty good value with this here. Why not for in away lightning energy? That is a good idea, and that is probably what I'm gonna do. That I didn't even see that. 
I did not even see that. Thank you for reminding me that exists. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna play better because because uh, Destroyer King is here. And this is... I mean, it's slow, but it's working. I mean, it's working real nice. Alright. Got to try a GX? No, no, Vulpix. Not on a Vulpix. Dump drop press. Send Banana Master out. Use that own stadium against him. Oh, I even drew this right away. Are we going to even try to do RC's Prism Star? I don't think so. I do need another Coco, though. And if I really want to RC's Prism Star, it will happen, though. Let's get this up. And this is going to give us the best value. And definitely there's some GXs down. I wanted to get burned, get some hurt. So we're going to do Psychic. And this is going to be three prize cards. It's going to help you catch up easily and then knock this out if the stadium stays into play here. Alright! It's like you wonder, man, you can even get a Wild Lord here. I wanted to score an energy with the Toko Prism Star. Still can do that. Still absolutely can do that. I'm good for next turn though. But that's a better play. Because you why would you do that? Because this here. Yeah, yeah. And right now the Pope with could still send out the Arceus. Not really, it wouldn't be good. You already filled up your bench, so Arceus is like, ah, uh, it's a luxury. If it starts up front, it's stop. He actually is gonna GX this. He put the extra energy in, so this is the stronger GX, but it looks like I may one-shot this, so... He, he mu she must legit l must be weak on cards, low on cards here. What does Arceus do? Uh, I can't show you right now. It gives you energies, basically, but the condition to do that is real darn hard. Alright, let me get some coffee there. Mudkip Blastoise? For some reason, this seems like... I don't know if you're lucky or not, but this is setting up. The double deal here. This isn't set up, but that Blastoise, I guess, was lucky. It's not bad. I mean, it's clunky because you have to, you're have to. you focusing on two different stage twos instead of focusing on one. But it's not bad at all. Now, he's going to get a lot of good value with Megaton Friends, because this is going to help you do your deal here. Oh, well, that's going to be bad. But I do have a Guzma to this right here, so that's good. I do have a Guzma to the back line. That's gonna... Uh, okay. Okay, well, I'm finishing this off because I can't let it die. I mean, I can't let you go for free. Lizard Edge it is gonna eat up a lot of energies. Okay. Let's go ahead and send this up. And now I'm gonna kill you. Nine turns to get that kill. Slacking is up. I'm gonna... I have to do this. I have to. And wait for this to get KO'd. You know, I am gonna play this now. The reason I'm gonna do that is because I need to start evolving Slack off. If it takes too long, then this isn't gonna go. Okay. And then after this, we're gonna have two energies here, so... Um... Could this... Uh, I think you might have a stadium. I'd rather save that. Because I can still get pulls with Banana Master. That's why I was hesitating. So, Psychic. You also get three cards right here, though. Why not let... This? You could! It's not reliable. But I wanted to finish that off. I really wanted to just finish it off. Because it comes back, he'll have it available, and he can knock out the Slacking. Because he will one-shot the Slacking. He will one-shot it, and that's why it's like, we're doing that! And I gotta be careful, I really gotta knock this out. And now I can't use the counter energy anymore, so these things can't attack. So let me see, 150? Yeah, this can be a little rough. I'm not sure what to do with this one here. No, I'll be able to attack next turn. I'm good. Well, it's gonna be... I wish I could discard another energy, but that's that. Now he's used Tail GX. Yep. Oh man, he got these two going here. Okay. 
And how many energies has actually been a discard? Because that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I don't know if you could actually... I hope he does get a KO with this. this. Because then it allows this counter energy to activate. If he doesn't get the KO, then we'll kill him anyways with this here. Yeah, we already have an energy down there. Powerful Squall, please get your energies and I'm sorry, Banana Master, you have to die for me. You have to die for the cause. For this activate, because this thing is not working right now. Alright. That's one energy. I know all your energies are in discard right now, so you have to do that 50 damage attack. That sucks for you, because I'm retreating. I'm gonna get that slacking up no matter what. Yeah, Nine Tails is dead, 100% dead next turn. Either way, that Nine Tails is 100% dead. Because I will just retreat this into the Coco and then switch into this here. That's one way, like if it does not die, which is what it's looking right now. It's look like it will not die. There is another one, but dang, that's expensive to get up. This deck is overall expensive, expensive in energy cost. So, yes, please. I'm sorry, Banana Mask. Well, well, it don't matter. It really doesn't matter what you do. Your Nine Tails is dead. You got it. All right. Bye bye, Nine Tails. Slacking is going to get you. Do we have another Guzma? Yes. So I'm going to send you and try to find that Guzma. Da -da. Slacking does just enough damage right now. Let's go it. Send it in there. Thank you, Shrine of Punishment. There probably is another stadium, so I'm gonna uh, hold on to that. There's the Vigoroth. Pull this up. And I guess think these two might need energies if I need it. Why would I do it now? Doesn't matter, does it? Whatever. Do it now. Put these two here. Energy, energy. Next turn he can evolve, and we just need something else. So we're gonna do bitch! Knock that Nine Tails out before it can GX. Take those two prize cards. Yeah, now he has no energies. And these things just too expensive to fight with. This I mean, technically this should work, but there's just too many energies in the discard right now. Too many. Slack is able to take this right here. Opponent's Brock's crit or some energy recycling. Like called Energy Recycler there. So we are now one prize card away from taking the game. He is two prize cards. It's been pretty even-ish. But this lacking is a macho, man. Okay. And he might be gone. It's like, this is too expensive. A lot of resources have been used up already. That might not be anything left with this. Oh, okay. Two prize cards it is. Any Guzmas at the moment? Nope. Do you have any GX decks? No. I do not. I do not have any GX Pokemon. This is purely no GXs. Which has a lot of benefits. That's the Guardian A from Sekiro. I need to play that, man. I totally need to play that. Alright, Slacking! It's like the two fattest Pokemon in the game. Three. Yeah, pretty. they are the two most fat. How much do you say you have your weigh on this? No, it's rude to ask how much Snorlax weighs. Like, ah, I'm kidding, bro. Don't mind. But you both have four energy retreat costs, and if any of these Pokemons were sleeping with me, I'd be dead about two o'clock. Because if they just roll over, <gasps> then I would start suffocating under fluffiness. I mean, it'd be a pretty... I wouldn't want to die that bad. I can't breathe under the manliness of these two guys. Or, I don't know, whatever. I can't... <laughs> it's just... This combination has gotten a little weird, man. My Lord's the fattest Pokemon in the game, heaviest Pokemon. You might be probably number two, I'm not sure, and you might be number three in my books. There are some like Onyx 6 or Steelix I can fight with that, but <laughs> we're getting out there. Or even Wildlord. I don't know, these are heavy. These are the heaviest colors Pokemon in, in the game, and you don't want any of sleep with any of those. And if you would slept with a Wildlord, then you would drown. Look at Scuba Gear. Donald, where are we? Are you on? What are you drinking? Or. I swear it's just coffee, man. We just need to keep on talking. Na 
We were hoping for it, Guzma, but, you know, sometimes it don't come. And he's thinking out, man, this guy's got two prize cards. How are you gonna beat him? That is a good deal. You got energy in hand, but I don't... You better play an energy recycler. Did you play an energy recycler? Is it available somehow? All right. Now, my counter energy isn't active anymore. So an energy, unfortunately, has to go here. And I'm gonna have to do this. Because I need to find that Guzma or get some energies up. If he does get a DC, I will die. I get, might have a chance of losing. I probably will lose, though. I will lose if he does, is a DCE. So I will pitch! And try to force the switch, but if there is a DCE, I'm losing the game. But it's still good, good game. I'm done with that. They're both lazy Pokemons. They are! That's probably the thing matching them. Alright, so now forcing him to retreat, if he does have a DC in like Guzma, that's game. Actually, he doesn't. That's not. He has to have a switch in Guzma. I'm just doing that thin. Guzma was like, screw you, Donald. And the energy card was like, screw you. Let's see, yeah, the counter energy wasn't activated. So, he knows, he knows, you gotta switch. You gotta switch to like the Vulpix or something. Or, or the Kangas God. Well, actually, everything would die here. And we need to do 80 damage. Now we don't have good energy 80 damage. Actually, we just need to kill this, but... Okay! He does have a chance to win. If he gets the right cards, he knocks out the slacking. Then I may not have another Pokemon that can take the last prize card here. And I'm... This is still a good game. This is a close-ass close game. Nobody knows. Right now, who's gonna win? Nobody knows. You got four cards left in your deck. I don't know if you have two energies left, but... But, actually, you might have one DC. But you gotta land it correctly. You have to have a switch and a DC that all comes through. Yes. And this will land, no matter what. It will... Any energies there, it's gonna click. It went to that. But if I take a prize card, I win. So... Okay! I started getting scared, but this might be it! I really hope this shows up in a YouTube video now. Oh, what? What? Why are you trying to plant my videos? He is decked out! He has decked out, no matter what- Well, he's gotta shuffle his deck back now, or something. Shuffle something back. Buffin' pad, okay, Snorlax. Professor Kukui, you can't even get any more cards! That's game, out of decking out. He's like, I ran out of gas. The slacking makes it through. Nope, 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 nope. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. That buys him three more turns. You can't celebrate just yet. That means you better get another Pokemon that can take that slacking down. So this Norlax will have to get energies now. And he does have a GX. That would be bad. No, he has to switch too. I may not even attack. Alright, get yourself a buffing pad. Or the back one back here is important. The one in the front here. So I don't kill myself if he GXs. Let's do a shuffle. Make sure this gets an energy so I win. I can win. Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm not risking it. I'm not risking this. I'm thinning so I can pull that DCE. There is a DC in Guzma. DC in Guzma, why haven't you come for a bit? I, maybe, I may not switch because I know he has a lot of trouble retreating. And I can't take him out, so... I don't want to activate anything. I don't want to give him a free switch. Victory. No energies. Okay, that's anticlimactic. But good game. Good game! Good game. Bam! Got it! We outlasted that.
he didn't have enough energies for the fight. Good game. Good game. Let's do this. Welcome to another... <laughs> another slacking match. It's gonna be Yubikiri from Demo. Alright, what we do? Preferably we would have had a Coco or a low Vulpix. Actually, we have a lot of good starting Pokemons, but I just didn't draw any of them at the moment right here. Da -da. Oh, thank you for that. That is a good one. All right, so this is good. We're gonna Cynthia and see what we get first, but we can definitely get uh get that down. All right, weak start for everybody here. So this does count, and this is count for Arceus here. This counts. If Arceus comes out, I can get some quick, fast energies and some damage. And uh, energy to retreat. I mean. I likely will pull the energy, but if I dealt it to retreat, then that's game. I mean, I mean, that's not game, but... Okay! So in that case... The best move is to do this here. To retreat and attack with a Lolan Vulpix. Because the Lolan Vulpix does something in here. And... let me see... Yeah, that energy will just come straight back to me. I already have Vigoroth, so I need to fill up my bench with this. And just to thin down, I'll pull this down here. Whatever, just pull that there. So once this leaves, I can at least put a Coco in there. Alright! Well, cool! That's actually a neat way to do this here. Yeah, I wish Baton would be dope. I don't think about Kiawe. Kiawe's real hard. Oh no! It's, it's this! That's hard. Okay, let me see. So, I do... I'm gonna really need some my my my. Oh man, that's gonna be hard. Okay. Well, how, what's the best way to deal with this here? Vigoroth needs to evolve. I still can't attack. Vigor. This needs the energy. We're gonna beacon again for this and banana mask. Uh, I don't even need banana master here. I already got two slackings in hand. All right. I don't know. Arceus Star can definitely get out of here though. This is not good. We're. I'm gonna put, I definitely put more trolls, draw supporters in there. I really need to start attacking though. So I hope he takes takes the kill soon. All right, he's gonna take the kill there. So. Um, I don't know who goes up front. Maybe Arceus? Wow. We really wish... Okay. It'd be nice if I pull a DC, but I don't trust it to come through. I don't trust that DC to come through. I better get, just get this off the bench now and use, at least try to get some value out of that. Okay, so now we can get this here. I don't think I have another low level picks, do I? Nope. So no way. I mean, I'll just take the 30 damage and do nothing, I guess. Let's do Dance of the Ancients. Throw this on. Do the here. And this. Move this over here. Put the Coco back down. Banana Master. Yeah, you, you, you belong down there. And now I can draw two here. Oh, don't bug out on me! And you don't get an energy. Dang, what is wrong with this? Okay, well, kill the Arceus for free, and I'll start trying to make a comeback. Try. Nope, just... Give me an energy, man. Throw, throw this... I don't even want anything. Banana Master... Give me, let's go, let's go. Give, please give me an energy card. Holy son of a birch. All right, take the free, take the free card. Take that free card, free Arceus. And just go for that. I, I didn't want you to live. Cause now he gets a lot stronger. All right. Let's go! Now I can't get any value of these cards. Tain Liza, please get me one energy card. And preferably a switch too, so I can take him out. That'll do, I guess. What's... Now this... We can't get value out of that. This is... 
Just, just take it. Just take it. Too many free turns. Mud Brown, who, who hit me? Uh huh. Well. Now, because he's bending down his neck so hard, it's working. And if I... I mean, if I... yeah, if... Ooh, man, I'm not gonna have another attacker next turn. Okay, slack off. Let's get you up. Doesn't matter who I attack, but... Let, let's see if we can get the belt for you. There we go. All right. Oh, don't forget to not play an energy. I mean, don't forget to play an energy there. And we're gonna go ahead and do pitch, which gets the KO. Finally! How many free kills did I give you? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna send the full picks out? All right. At least we got a, uh, we got this to deal with it. So right now he needs a lot more magic carbs. <laughs> they got actually discarded. He knows that. So yeah, we're gonna go straight for the magic carps with the Guzmas. Because what else are we gonna use them for? This is a pretty challenging deck. And if we do survive, let me see. Let me see. Energy back there. Beacon it is. That's good, but it's also bad for me. I, I think I'll take this out. Thank you, Creepstar, for the for the sub. Yes, for two months. Creepasaur, Creepstasaur, Creepstasaur is a creeping dinosaur. All right, all right. So we're in a bad position. We have to. We need energies. We didn't have four energies. Do we really have an energy problem? Where are my energy cards? Well, that answers your question. You have an energy problem. You've got to do something about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just in my head here. I don't even need any of those cards out. I just need stuff. The whole reason I played that was for that. Why not use my Gyarados? That's what I was thinking, but I was like, I need energies. Holy son of a birch. Like, I need... This lacking needs to fight. But I've... Dang! Are the prize cards up, energies up here? That is not good. I really, I saw that, but there it is! I saw it, but you know, you gotta... If you don't got energy, you need energy to fight still! And if you're not pulling it, that's not good, good there. Guzma was the safest, but I don't think so. I mean, I would have Guzma if I had an energy in hand, but... I had no energies. Are you gonna one-shot this? Thank you, Buffet Bad. That's gonna really help out there. All right, we're just well. Go ahead and do this here, and uh, let's keep pulling, man. Let's keep pulling. There needs to be some counter energies back in this deck. We're gonna go ahead and use just for the heck of it, rage, rage, two hundred and thirty damage. Here are some energies. Finally, finally, man, he's gonna not miss a water energy for uh this thing to live. That thing is a beat buff tank. Slacking buff with a death bat is scary, yep. Yeah, he's desperately trying to set up more Gyarados because he's running out of attackers. I'm running out of attackers as well, so... I'm gonna need some counters. Some counter energies. Alright. Hopefully... Hopefully he doesn't pull those Gyarados. This is still Blast. Wow! That is weak! That is weak. And he threw out all the Gyarados. Alright! We might have a chance. Okay, out of habit, just throw this out first. Unless there's an Absol. And there's not an Absol. Alright, I gotta save that DCE. Alright, that's it. I don't see anything else that I need to do other than try to force a draw, which I don't need. Not really. I mean, what's left in the deck? 
What's left in the deck? Nothing. You have nothing in the deck except energies and goosebumps, which you do need. I mean, I could have used that, but that's fine. Banana Master Pool. Alright, we're gonna go hit him, bitch! Knock that out! Wow! First time I've been on the street, Donald's playing a slacking! It has been, uh, I'm not sure if this is... <laughs> it's been, uh, well, two more prize cards. It's been, it's been, it's been, it's been a workout. It's been a really intense workout, making this thing work. Gotta tell you that, two more prize cards, man, so... We do have another DC in the deck. I think we got this, though, but... Don't say anything just yet, there's... Let me see, I saw DCE. I think, yes... What? Okay. Um, in, I don't think it's you don't got a Guzma. Even if you did a Guzma, you can't. It wouldn't beat me with a Guzma. I think. We're gonna do this. We're gonna play this. There's a Guzma for me, which is good. I'll take away your stadium, and I'm gonna do a pitch. All right, one more prize card, and please let the DC be in a deck. Because uh, I, even if without the DC, I still think I got this, so... Alright! Full bench, yeah! Well, I have a full bench. Okay, got a Gyarados, he needs to get every single card, must be one energy. If you've landed, great. And I still probably will win, though, anyways, because I'm uh, really ahead on prize cards here. This still... WHAT THE FARFETCH?! He got it! Okay! Well... I'm gonna need to pull a DC to attack. I gotta top deck that or do s balls. Yes, ball. I gotta top deck that. Yes! Finally slacking. Get that last prize card. Get out of there. Get out of there. You have no idea how I waited for this, man. Oh my gosh! Slacking! Good farfetch, man! Good farfetch job! Donald, is this the good? No. There's no fun factor in it, it is slow, and the end game, the big payoff, is just kinda mediocre. In fact, there are decks in the theme shop that you can get for cheap. That's much better than slacking, and just better. Nidal Queen being one of them, Charizard being one of them. Use those! They work better! They're more fun! They don't have to pay for this big energy cost, and they do more damage. All right, so slacking. Nah, we got you to work. That's you know, that's more like an achievement kind of deal. You're doing it just for the sake of doing something interesting. All right, so that's it for slacking. We're not gonna touch you again. We're gonna go over to Nine Tails, which is much better, much more fun, much much more fun and effective and dangerous. That's for tomorrow. It's not a Nine Tails deck per se, but it's gonna be very good. Oh yeah, so that is that. Thank you and the girls, friend Jules. Take it easy, stay safe. I'm gonna see you guys next time. Short ending. Bye-bye. Thank you.